temptation here is to be in a couple things. How? The other thing to be in the temptation about is, oh God, what if I don't do it, then I'm going to miss the Ascension bus. That one's familiar. And the other one is the sense of, am I doing it fast enough, right? So let's be really cautious about the overachieving light worker stuff, okay? Because that's just a familiar suffering trigger place to go hide in, right? Let's not go hide there anymore. You're all overachieving light workers. You all get that purple star. Right? So it's okay. Be overachieving light workers. We don't want you to change that. What we want you to do is be really gentle with yourself that when you have this huge transformational time that we're in, that you don't use your overachieving nature to give you an excuse to stay small. Because the opportunity here is to say yes to greatness, yes to bigness, yes to more than what I've been before, the overachieving light worker thing can pop up and say, well, you're not doing a good enough job. You're not doing it fast enough. Everybody else is ahead of you. Oh, God, you got triggered again, so you're not good. And then you use that, that negative voice as a refuge rather than the generating event to abide in. This generating event thing is... a uh, you know, we're not messing around with this. We're not messing around with this generating event thing, and it's not easy, right? It's not easy to sit in the generating event. The temptation can be that when you're in a generating event, you feel as though all hell is breaking loose, and it is, but it's breaking loose in the direction you want it to go in, right? When you have to cut down a tree, the tree falling makes a mess, right? It can knock other things down, it's big, it's loud, but they know how to aim the falling tree. That's what we're doing with the generating event. We're aiming that falling tree so it clears the way to oneness rather than congests the way to oneness, which is what living in trigger does, right? Living in trigger congests the way to oneness. Living in the generating event clears. Now, I'll tell you this right now. Triggers suck and the generating event sucks in the sense that the body doesn't like it. So let's at least say, stay in the one, if it's gonna be uncomfortable, let's be in the one that actually has a, a future, <laughs> rather than being in the one that's just suffering that doesn't end. And you've done so many times, right? The done so many times thing. We don't know about you guys, but we're kinda of over the done so many times thing, right? We'll keep talking to you guys about it as long as you keep bringing it up, but we're sort of over it, aren't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, don't you guys have some triggers that you're just like, yeah, could, could be done with this one. Mm -hmm. yes. Could be done with this one. And then you go in it and you think, it doesn't even give me the kick it used to give me. <laughs> right? I don't even get that sort of, it's like if you, you know, drank a lot of alcohol over time and then drank a lot again and then drank a lot again and drank a lot again. At some point, you drink a lot of alcohol and you're like, whatever I used to get out of this, I don't get out of it anymore. Right? I just don't get that. Whatever it is, or had a lot of sex, or watched a lot of TV, or, you know, I'm going to do a movie marathon this weekend. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to feel all blissed out. And you do your movie marathon, you think, fuck. It didn't give me what it used to give me. It's because you have grown past the vibrational level of those coping mechanisms. So we need new ones not just coping mechanisms, we need new opportunities. We need new ways to deal with generating events. Because when you have a generating event, you're going to have generating events forever, right? Because you got a body. you got a body, it's going to make you give generating events. Shit's going to happen. And you're going to be like, I didn't really think this is how I was going to spend Tuesday. That's a generating event, just in case anyone's confused what we're talking about, that when you go, ah, but it's Tuesday, as if that somehow is going to make it not happen. The oldest place that you would discharge the, the discomfort of generating a vented victimhood, right? That's old school, like as far back as it goes, right? We broke you of that habit. You still sometimes feel victim-y, but you know when you're doing it. You're like, yeah. 
doesn't help at all. Damn it. So we kind of broke you of the feeling victim-y thing as if that was going to help. But now there's the other ones. We talked about it a few weeks ago about the small triggers that you want to speed bump over. Like, oh yeah, I don't pay attention much to that because it doesn't really get me that upset so I can just speed bump over it. Right? That one only bugs me a little. <laughs> and we said, whoa. Right? Don't let those small triggers get out of your attention because they're important or they wouldn't be there. Now we're just changing it all the way around again to focus more on the generating event. Okay, so that's enough foundational information. We'd like somebody to get up there and talk about a generating, generating event and uh, perhaps did you deal with it differently now or maybe you didn't. <laughs>